I'm now in politics, so I'm one of the people with a completely protected pension. So that's one. That's one point. Oh, that's that's, 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 that's what we're seeing. So you're that's more interested in looking after your own than politics, well, which is supposed to be about all of us. Yeah. That's one point. So, but the politicians are there to help the whole community. Well, you don't want to listen. You, you don't want to listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. I don't listen. No, and I, and I think I think actually it is a bit rich for now for the coalition to say that an MP could retire at sixty after thirty years of service or two thirds of. Pension, but the teachers can't. So I think actually they should set a bit of an example yeah. in that case. But overall, but then you yourself, but overall, do you serve, do you serve your ego and your own family, or do you use them in politics? Because yeah. you believe Are in you politics, politics for, for the us? country. Well, Are you well, doing well, it for us or for yourself? Well, yours? personally, yeah. I've taken a massive pay cut to be in politics. Yeah. All right. I'm sure you. Well, what about the skagging in Scotland? You know, skagging is like literally that's it. I've got no hope, and they're like fucking yeah, taking them up. They're still on TV yes. the other day. But I just think, I just they think, well, yeah. I mean, if you look at these protests, they they were mostly it's about before. pensions. It's mostly about pensions, and we're all going to have to face the fact we're going to have to work a lot. And, and I, I can't see there's anything wrong with that. Do you understand the way the money changes is corrupt? Do you understand how the IMF produces money? I understand how it's all gone wrong, yes. And, and we're now, have you ever listened to Alex Jones? Because I always wonder if he gets you guys. I actually think. Alex Jones, I always wonder if politicians have ever listened to Alex Jones. Well, I've, I've done his show four times. Have you really? Yeah, I know Alex Jones quite well. Um, I, I, I have to say... Do you say, ever find him annoying? Well, he gets he's a bit American. Look, <laughs> he's, look, he's a bit annoying. He's a bit over the top. But uh, in fact, I, did, I, did, I did Alex Jones last week. Really? Uh, talking about Greece. Yeah. And talking about, I mean, if you, if you look at Greece, I mean, if you talk about creation of money, right? Greece is Greece is now so indebted, right? And what we what, what we've actually bullied the Greek Parliament into doing yesterday is into taking on another 120 billion. There was an old theory that used to go about 120 billion extra of debt. Right. So a country that can't pay its bills anyway yeah. has now been lent another 120 billion. But we're selling off all of their stuff illegally right now. The whole no, thing. Illegally. Well, it's well, been done legally, but morally, well, it's yeah, legally, but, but there's much morality to it. It's a big difference between no, I mean, I, I think, um, I think the one country that got it right was Iceland, which said to some of these banks, "You bust, what, you, you just go, let them crumble. Let them go. Let them go. What did we go. do that? Do you know why? No. Do you know why? No, I don't. Because our banking system is not controlled by the Bank of England. No, it's controlled exactly. by the International Monetary Fund. All the FSA, all the FSA, all the British government is controlled now by the European Commission. And the European Commission and the European Central Bank and the IMF have virtually bloody merged. Yeah, the IMF, yeah. Look Sweet. at the appointment this IMF, week. Yes. The international Look at the appointment. I mean, the I mean, I mean, of all the people, of all the people to have become president at the IMF, they've chosen Christine Lagarde to replace Dominic Strauss-Kahn, and, and who, who completely supports putting the Greeks into this position. And my fear, my fear, is a, is a, is a, is a country like Greece, you saw the violence and the protests yesterday, yeah. could, I, I honestly believe there could be a civil war in Greece. Yeah. Because people, people have had their democracy stripped from them, they're now being faced... Is I mean, that not what's the same as happened over here, though? I mean, it's, no, got, it's happening in a totally well, different had, way. Oh, right. had, yeah. had we joined the Euro, yeah. the comparison would have been stronger, right? Right. Because we're not doing well, and we know that. Yeah. But still, Are you Conservative? But, no. You yeah, it's UK. But, um, but I was Conservative. I was, I was Conservative in the 80s, because I thought we had to make Britain more competitive and more attractive globally, and I think that worked to some extent. There was a price to pay for it, but it worked. For what benefit? Sorry? For what benefit? What, in the 80s? What yeah. happened? Oh, But they were in recession at oh, the time. Oh, listen, when, when, when Thatcher... It was similar to this. You know, I mean, we were in a... But at what cost? Privatisation of... Well, the cost is. was, the cost was that if you lived in South Yorkshire and worked, came from a mining family... And it came close to looking saw, like the cost of letting the Tories in this you, time might be the privatisation... Privatisation... You saw your whole... Of you the know, national healthcare system. Your whole way of life disappear. But did we... Uh, did we go through, you know, better job prospects for people, increased living standards? Yes. We're now going did through we? a period... Yeah, massively. Yeah. Overall, huge, they were huge. throwing credit. At people. Almost, Sorry, they were almost, essentially yeah. letters through the door. Almost, saying, the, almost, the, and, and, and in fact, the credit boom. Yeah. The real credit boom. Which was disgusting. Came later. You're not aware of the fact that the bank is in control of all of that. Well, the IMF of that. They perpetually increase money and then. Yeah. Carry I'm told, listen, yeah, listen, 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 down, listen. Yeah. Actually, if you lend people lots of money. And they then can't pay you back. You've got them with the bulls. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I that's that's the old. No, no, no. I do understand that. I do understand that. And I'm, 
I've become more and more worried about it over the last two or three years. Are there are a lot of people in politics at the moment worrying about this. I mean, no, because they don't understand it. It's, yeah, it's, it's most never, of, I've never believe seen it mentioned me, on the Believe news me, or most of them, most of them don't even understand it. Most people in politics are there. Are you who do? Are you actively they're... doing things to make sure other people do understand? Well, I tell you what. If you want to have a, um, um, if you want to. Um, I'll, I'll give you my card, Google yes, my yes, website, yes, yes, and you can see some of the things I've been saying about this over the last couple of years. I'm not perfect, but I have actually tried. There's a couple of cards there. All right. I've got to run. I've got to run, so, but nice, nice to much. meet you all. Okay. Thank you. Likewise.